Hello everybody, it's Jeremiah again. Today in this video, I'll be taking an old dish and reinventing it. In a previous video, I showed you how to make a cream soup, but it doesn't matter if it's homemade or if it's store-bought, you can use either in this recipe. You can use whatever cream of chicken, cream of mushroom soup, or any cream soup in general, and we're gonna make a dip out of it. We're gonna use a small saucepan and leftover cream of mushroom soup that I had made. Put that saucepan at low heat. We're gonna get a couple ladlefuls of that cream of mushroom soup and let it warm up a bit. A large saute pan at medium to high heat, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and one tablespoon of unsalted butter. That should do one whole box of rice aroni for you. Let that melt down. One small saucepan or saute pan for a slice of bacon. We're gonna let that simmer and get brown. Once our butter is melted in the oil, take our rice aroni and put that in the large saute pan and put that seasoning off to the side for later. Stir up that rice aroni. You want to get it evenly coated. Shake it up, whatever you want to do. And I need one cup of water for right now. Slowly, very importantly, slowly add just a little bit at a time. You don't want it to splash back at you. So slowly add that water in. Stir it up. And I'm gonna need another cup of water later. All right, flip our bacon when it starts to brown up. All right, there's our other cup of water. And we're gonna stir up our soup there. Turn our oven on at 350, let it preheat. One flour tortilla, we're gonna cut it up with a pizza wheel. And I'm gonna show you what to do with those later. Stack them up, put them off to the side. Get them out your way for now. All right, our bacon's done, we'll pull it. And I'm gonna add that last cup of water. So it's two cups of water total. And I'm gonna turn our heat down to low. And then just stir it in, and let it cook. Take a piece of paper towel, wrap the bacon up in it, let it soak up the excess fat and grease. And we're about ready to add that packet of season now. It came in that box with rice aroni. Stir it in. Once again, we're at a low medium heat for that. I have some diced parsley I've got there. There's our bacon. A slice of provolone cheese. And I'm gonna get a couple pinches of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Put that off the side. I'm gonna go ahead and crunch up the bacon now. Get some good bacon bits there. Put that off to the side. All right, I'm gonna taste the rice roni. I want it to be al dente, not fully cooked, just almost there. All right, so two ladles of that, spoonfuls, into a serving bowl of your choice. I'm gonna put some of that uh, cream of mushroom soup, not all the way to the top, but yeah, as you can see there. Add our bacon bits. And I'm going to add a little bit of that diced parsley, our provolone cheese on top as well as the shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And just for good measure, a little extra parsley. Never hurts. And I'm straighten out the cheese there so it can melt evenly. Put that in our preheated oven, which is at 350. And it's gonna sit there for about five, 10 minutes or so. And we'll take that extra rice roni and add it to that leftover soup I had there and put it back in the fridge. Large saute pan again. And I'm adding uh, just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And that's about a medium, medium high heat. I wanna toast up our slices of flour tortilla there. I'm gonna flip them over, make sure they get coated evenly and that extra virgin olive oil. And you'll see it'll start to brown, start to bubble a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna flip them, make sure they're toasting on both sides, pull it, put it on some paper towel there so it can drain. And we're gonna do the rest of it, the other half. Shake it up, pull it. And our uh, soup should be just about done. It's already bubbling there. Should brown a little bit on top. Be sure to have some good pot holders. Don't burn yourself now. All right, set off to the side. Go ahead and grab our little bowl there. Put it on top of a serving plate. And get rid of you. And I'm gonna go ahead and put our little flour tortilla slices there. Just to make it pretty as always. So obviously you could put this in a larger bowl, small bowl, whatever you want to do, spoon it, dip it, 
Either way, it's going to be a taste of heaven. I guarantee it. Oh man, fantastic. Very easy to do. Took me literally like 10 minutes. Make the ordinary extraordinary every time. So once again, thank you for watching my videos. Be sure to check me out at Facebook and uh, can't wait to make the next one. Till then, take care, happy cooking.